guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got an intro for you guys and this one is for my Panda palette for 2019. I'm really excited to show you guys this one. Um, you might have seen my video in which I was still trying to figure out what I wanted to do. If not, you can have a look at it up here in case you're wondering what palettes I was considering. Um, I had a Catrice palette, a Too Faced palette and a NYX palette and um, it became pretty clear through you guys' votes and kind of also when I was kind of talking to you about the palettes that I was considering that the NYX or the Too Faced were the two that were most considered, like both by me and by you guys. And I'd say the NYX and Too Faced were pretty 50-50. Um, so yeah, you, you guys kind of helped me at least realize that the Catrice one was maybe not a Panda palette type of palette for me. But then I still had to pick between the Too Faced and the NYX. But I managed to make a decision. So without any further ado, I'm going to be panning the Too Faced Glamour To Go palette this year. And I know I've been working on the Too Faced palette already. But I just felt like this was a really nice and compact palette. It has a blush and a bronzer in it, so it's perfect for when I go traveling. And I'm still considering like putting some of the shades from the NYX palette in some of my projects over the year. So this is gonna be the one this year. Um, yeah, so I'll quickly show you what this palette looks like. Um, we've got eight shades to work with, so it's still nice and small, although there is plenty of product in here. And as you guys know, I'm not done with my other Too Faced palette yet, so it's good to not go like too full out, I guess, and this gives me a chance, like I said, to pull in some other shadows from other palettes and maybe even singles and duos and those types of things throughout the year in other projects. So yeah, let's um, take a little bit of a further look into them. Um, first, let me show you a really quick look without blinding you of what's left in here. So we've got the blush and the bronzer that is shattered, but I'm gonna be repressing that partly in both um, of these pans because I haven't really used it yet, so I'm afraid I'm not gonna be able to press it as nicely in here. But if I use both pans, I should be fine. So let's take a closer look at the shades that I'm gonna be working on this year. The first shade is kind of a coppery gold type of shade. Um, it, is, it is a really nice one, it has a really nice shimmer sheen kind of to it um, and when I swatch it I do feel it is a little gritty is maybe not the right word but I do feel the shimmers a little bit but then when I swatch it um, it doesn't really seem too like glittery or anything it seems really smooth in the swatch um, then going on to the next shade and that is kind of a grayish taupe I guess um, this one is a really nice one it's kind of a satiny um, color. It feels smoother than the coppery shade does when I'm swatching it, but it's a really nice kind of transition shade Maybe also something that I could use on my lids in combination with something else. So um, Yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of figuring out how I want to use that one. Then we've got the pink shade um, And that pink shade is kind of a similar formula as the Movi shade um, It's also a little bit satiny so there is a little bit of a sheen to it and I think that is going to be great for kind of maybe my inner corner, but also all over the lids. I mean, it's going to be a really easy shade to wear, maybe even on my brow bone as well. So there are plenty of options for that pink shade for me. Then I think the most tricky shade this year is going to be kind of the greenish gray um, shade. Because as you maybe can see in the swatch, there is a good bunch of kind of more like real chunky glitter in there. The green color is pretty nice. It's very subtle as well, so it should be easy to use and easy to combine with loads of things. I'm just kind of scared for some fallout with the big chunks of glitter that are in there, but we'll figure that out as we go. <laughs> then we're getting to the more matte shades of this palette. First we've got a really nice dark brown, which is going to be great for darkening up the outer V, and it seems... Um, subtle enough for me at least to also use it in my crease so looking forward to using that one and the mattes in here feel so buttery they feel like a really really nice formula 
I think when I swatch them, I feel like I do see the slightest bit of a sheen in there. So I think they kind of used that trick to make sure that the matte still stayed smooth enough to work with. Which I'm totally fine with because I'm fairly certain that when I use that on my eyes, you don't really see that sheen very much. So it's still gonna be a matte shade when it's on your eyelids. Next we've got the whitish shade. It's kind of, it has a little bit of a beige tint to it, but that's completely fine. I think this is gonna be great. For on my brow bone, it's gonna be a really easy brow bone color. Don't have to worry about making it too shimmery or anything. It's just the perfect kind of blend everything together type of shade. Um, then we've got a bluish shade. Um, and this one again has that satiny um, feel to it, that satiny look to it. So it's a blue grayish shade. It's kind of on the cooler side. It's dark enough, I think, to work as a transition shade, but at the same time light enough to also use on the eyes in combination with another color. So I'm looking forward to using that one and kind of figuring out as well with that one how I'd like to use it because I don't use a shade like that very often. And then lastly, we've got the darkest shade in the palette, which is a blue grayish dark tone again. Um, so it's not a full-on black, which I'm kind of happy with because as you guys know, I've still got plenty of black to work through um, from my Too Faced palette that I'm working on right now. And then I've got another one in a Deluxe palette that I'm hoping to work through in the upcoming year as well. So I'm really happy that this one is not too pigmented because that means that I can easily use it in my crease as well and I can kind of use it that way so it won't interfere with me trying to use up the really dark black shade because I can still use that dark black shade um, as my eyeliner and in my outer V, whereas this one I can easily use in the crease as well. So happy with that. Then going on to the blush. The blush is very light, but kind of pigmented at the same time, which is interesting. Um, it feels really nice and buttery as well, and I think I can easily use that one, but I might even combine that one with another blush if I feel like it is too light. I do have a fairly light skin tone, as you guys know, so it might work perfectly on me. I haven't really used it yet, so we're gonna find out soon. And then lastly, of course, the bronzer. It seems to lean a little bit more to the orangey side, so I'm gonna have to see how that works for a contour. It might be more of a kind of blush or thing to warm up my face than it would be a contour, because I think it's a little bit too light and definitely too warm for that. But we're just gonna see. We're gonna try some things and we're gonna play around with it. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, like I said, it's... Such an easy palette for me to just take with me wherever I go. I do travel an okay bit throughout the year, so it's always good to have a palette like this. My bigger Too Faced palette was not that easy to bring with me, so I would skip on using it sometimes when I was traveling, just because I didn't want to bring the huge palette with me, and this one is going to be so much easier to do that with. So looking forward to using this. I'm looking forward to figuring out how I'm going to use all the shades in here, how they're gonna work for me, and I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing me work through them, seeing some um, get ready with me's with this Panda Palette palette, and just hearing me talk about my progress and seeing me work through this. Um, yeah, that is it for today. I hope you guys liked watching this. I hope you guys are excited to follow along and see where we're gonna end up with this palette. And uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Bye-bye.